Hello? Hello? Because we've been tagged. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hey, guys. Sorry we're late. That's my bad, okay? My fucking pizza got here late, and it just threw everything off, and I'm pissed. But hey, we're here. Uh, yeah. Welcome we're to Dungeon Discourse. We're, we're, we're back at it again. Uh, hold on. My music. It says it's playing music, but I don't hear <laughs> shit. Get tagged. <laughs> yeah. There we go. There we go. There it is. Okay. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Dungeon Discourse, the show where we talk about our show Dungeon Select. It's a crazy concept, I know, and nobody else does this, I swear. It's a reason. <laughs> we are very original in but, our content. Um, the name has a nice ring to it, though, so, you know, it's, you know, it's still D&D, and it's, Who came it's clever. Um, Probably either James or Kamikaze Guy. Because Kamikaze Guy is good at coming up with names and alliteration stuff, and I remember I asked him, and then James had his whole discourse with Dobson handle. Yeah, I, I, so it also I, sounds I, like I it could think, very yeah. much have been him. <laughs> somebody somebody came up with it. I, mean, I forget who it was, but hey. We're Good here job today to them. With, uh, with, with Belle and Laura. Talk about the last session. Got to pay the Knoll Toll, which I thought was a great title, actually. Um, talk about the show. You and, just uh, like to see me it's, it, it just, it's, you know, talk about the show in general, answer some questions that got submitted, and we're gonna play a little game. Woo! More about that later. Uh, before we get going, do we have any announcements that we want to share with the class? YouTube uploads are a little bit delayed because my external hard drive reach, reached maximum capacity, so I had to get a new one. That's... Um, can you just, like, delete some stuff? Lol? I did! I already did that! Oh. It reached maximum capacity before Christmas, and then... <laughs> now it's... Now I can't delete anything else. Yikes. That's, uh, that's rough. <clears throat> Alright. Mm. Man. There you go. So, um... Got a, we're still oh, so far. Right. <laughs> Shuts up. Okay. Uh, so, YouTube videos delayed. Blame Bell. Hashtag Blame Bell. Don't blame me. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else have any exciting announcements they want to share? Uh, I'm working on a YouTube video that heavily features Dutch in it uh, <laughs> through some Valorant gameplay. It's so me, I'm okay. hoping to release it this weekend. So I expect uh, be out I expect 50% of any income you make of that video. Thank you. Okay. Like 50% My, of nothing is nothing. But still, I was going to say, yeah, so have fun with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send, I I'm going to send you an empty envelope. In the box. Thank you. I'm going to send you an envelope filled with air or a check for zero dollars, one of the two, and just like, here you go. Send me like a one dollar bill ripped in half. <laughs> Canadian, we don't have one dollar bills. We have loonies and they're metal. They're very hard to break. I just melt them, lol. Melt a loonie. Just, just, just get a hacksaw and just... Yeah, fuck it. You know, the, there's, there's ways half. to make it work. Um, yeah. So yeah. Anything else? Anything else? Anyone? Anybody? Nah, I've that's been... it. Super inconsistent with the streaming this week on my personal channel because I've been super busy with college, but the streams come back next week. So there we go. There it is. Um, Yay! It's been deadline after deadline after deadline, and I'm stressed out and I want to die. But uh, we're almost there. I, I, I have a, to finish some mood. stuff up this weekend, and then I have some presentations next week, and then I'm done. And it's over, and then we can get back to streaming. Oh, Yay! Yeah. All right. Um. Yeah, I think that's that. Yeah, no one else has any, any, any anything to say. Can I get a, a quick congratulations, Laura, in chat for being accepted into team team side quest? Because that's kind of pog. Oh, thanks. That's kind of lit. That's yeah. Kind of dope. Awesome community on 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 the interwebs that we all live on, and um, yeah, I'm proud of you. Our home, in in our home. <laughs> yeah, the internet is more my home than any physical location. Let's be honest. Mood. Oh God. All right. I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> As is custom in the show, I'll start off with a little recap of uh, what uh, happened, what transpired last session. Uh, last session involved a lot of improv, so that's going to be fun to talk about. Um, last session, the party ha still had about half a day to travel to get to Eldilon to turn in a quest or to, to get... I see turn in a quest to receive payment for a job well done in Streatham with dismantling the whole organization that uh, Fear Krog built. Um, travel got interrupted by 
a pack of gnolls that uh, blocked the road and tried to ambush our party, but they made quick work of uh, those creatures. Then they tracked uh, some, some, some prints into the woods where they found another uh, group of gnolls, bigger ones, with these three-headed flails. Um, worshippers of uh, a demon called Yinogu, which is a popular deity, or demonic being, I guess, not technically not a deity, but a, a, a popular being that uh, that is worshipped by a lot of gnolls. Um, after which, they continued on, they pressed on towards Eldilon, found a little parting goodbye message from Sai, uh, in this form of, uh, like a cairn with a little, little, little drawing he made with, based on the drawing Daigon made for him. You arrived in Eldilong. Talked to General Kron. The beginning Kron. of Daigon's career as an artist mm. is happening. Um, you arrived, talked to General Kron, got paid for a job well done. Um, also heard that there, there was a bounty on some gnolls uh, posted a little while ago, so they might, it's might worth checking out in the future to see if you can get paid for the gnoll um, heads? Question mark that now live <laughs> inside Jax's bag. A lot of creatures' heads have heads, lived inside yep. that bag of holding. It's yep. a bit worrying. Uh, Somebody needs I mean, to I, take that away I, from that man. I disposed of one of them. So <laughs> true. In, in a street. In the um, in a public street. <laughs> yeah. Yep. As you yep, do. Yep, yep. Perfect head disposable area. No, absolutely, absolutely. Um, <laughs> and Brooks, and by extension, all of you also got invited to a secret fight club type situation on a ship, uh, this event called the Scrapyard, which is something that uh, we'll, we'll probably ha see happen this Sunday. Did I forget anything? I think that was it. Yeah, that was it. it. Good, good job, me. Hell yeah. Um, so, before we do anything else, uh, what are your overall thoughts on... on last session and just you know being back after our holiday break it was the first session back how, how did you experience it start with you bell i love being back i, I always <laughs> miss it so much and it's great now having like fresh content and not having everyone whitter in my ear while i edit the footage for weeks on end <laughs> it's wrong, really what's wrong with us being in your everyone just all says time, so though. much bullshit <laughs> yes welcome to my fucking life <laughs> You are included in those group of people that just yeah. Says when I say it's funny, I was like, oh, obviously you're included right. since her video is the longest, so therefore you yeah. say the most bullshit. True. Therefore your character says the least things of of merit. The proof True. is in the pudding, as they say. <laughs> is that Kes a thing they say? Talks. I don't know, but I think I've heard Kes it before. Just talks, and sometimes it doesn't make sense, and sometimes it does. Oh, it <laughs> she like never knows where her sentence is going to end. Sounds like this bell girl I know. It's crazy. Um, <laughs> right. So yeah. You, sorry. I'm I'm in I'm in a mood. Um, anyway, <laughs> carry on. <Yeah. laughs> um, last episode was really fun. Just like the Cas Dygan fight. <laughs> so this is super fun. I'm just glad it's over. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. The I I I was just like we're making the party so mad at us, but it's so funny. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> So I'm just, so I'm glad, I, I, while that was a good time while it lasted, I'm glad it's over. Uh, I'm a bit shocked that there was not more, like, just complete, just outrage in character at the moment, and just being like, you fucking idiots, and them just, like, getting so mad, and just, like, Davian. yelling at us. Yeah, because Davian had his whole he little, like, so outburst. Mad. Being I like, mean, there what? was something of a reaction <laughs> when it comes to that stuff, but it wasn't something that was like, oh, how dare you? No, it was just like, a, mm. God, you guys are fucking morons. And that's really the, bigger, the bigger reaction was before we took our break, because when we were just having, like, after-game chats, uh, Ethan and Duke caught on, and we're just so fucking pissed. <laughs> so mad. <laughs> like, out of character. They're like, oh my god. <laughs> if it turns out that you're faking this, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> and then we just, like, smiled. <laughs> not saying anything very good very good <clears throat> all right um i personally thought last session was a great little session thanks for asking super fun um <laughs> shut up <laughs> we're not meant uh, to ask you questions that's I, uh, not how this works i know i know i know i'm just i'm, 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 I'm uh, i um piece of shit. <laughs> 
Last session uh, took, a took a lot longer for you guys to get to Elden on than I thought it would, um, mainly because there was a lot of improv. Um, basically, a little peek behind the DM screen. The only thing I had prepared was that encounter on the road with the moles. I knew it. I totally figured it was like, oh, I'm going to look for tracks. I was like, yeah, it kind of makes sense that there would be tracks. And, yeah. Yeah, I wanted to fuck it. So that entire, like, dug into the hill thing, I was all just like, on the fly. Like, sure, I kind of figured, because I was like, what party would like so many people be like all right well let's let's move on like let's go because we're we have imminent rewards waiting for us in yeah. Elbalon. we have like business to see to we're like no, no no let's go look for the source of this minor inconvenience but no right our party <laughs> had to be a goody goody and yeah but i feel like i played it off pretty well i feel like I, I made it look like oh, yeah. i had that prepared so you know Oh yeah, yeah. When, like when, I, I say, I knew it not because mm -hmm. it felt at all like inferior or like rush. It didn't. It didn't. It felt lesser than your normal DMing. I just had a hunch. I was just like, that seems like a weird choice for us to make, but let's go with it. So. Yeah, and when when Duke said it, I was like, yeah. I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense. Yeah, fuck it. There are some tracks. Let's see where this goes. And then they got to that hill, and I was like, yeah, there's four knolls inside. They're bigger. They have those flails. They worship you, know, Goof. Yeah, man, they're there. They exist. But um, you know. It, 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 now they don't anymore. Now they don't anymore. So there you go. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of improv there because um, I had fully like prepared and fleshed out that like um, fighting tournament as well already, just in case. Um, now you got more time to flesh it out. I had already fleshed out. I have like an entire like bracket uh, prepared and everything, and like I can just fine tune it based on. How badly does it fuck it up if, you... if if I don't fight in it? Like, are you matter. are you can, banking on certain people like, the thing is, entering? I have it um, ready now for three people entering. But if one person, or like, if it's only two, or say it's four, if it's only two, if it's less than three, I can just check a name off the list. Okay, they don't fight anymore either. Boom, that's that problem solved. True. Yeah. If it's one more, I can just grab out of a, a random NPC that I had that lives in Eldilon out of the hats yeah. that I have and add that to the bracket. So this is no biggie. It's no biggie. Okay. Because I still haven't decided whether Dak I is fully expect, fight in it or not. I kind of expect <laughs> Brooks, Davian, uh, and... Why and Davian? It's with no weapons. Davian uses weapons. Yeah, Davian's but, not a punchy yet. I, yeah, no, but like, I... Yeah, but he is When insane. I made it, I was like, yeah, approach <laughs> Davian. And I was like, maybe Kess or, or, or maybe Kess or Daigon. Because Kess, I feel like, even though she's not really a physical fighter, she'd be like, oh, it'd be fun, dude, lol. She, yeah, she'd be like, uh, it'd be fun. Let's or, go. And, and Daigon, I was like, oh, this monk makes sense. You know, they, she could be persuaded. Uh, but um, like I said, if it's less people, then I can just tick names off of that bracket and yeah. boom, problem solved. Uh, or make those people face each other instead of the party. So like, oof, big whoop. Um, that's gonna be fun, very exciting. There's gonna be some NPCs there that you have met before, and there's gonna be some NPCs that you wouldn't expect <gasps> to see there, exciting. and there's gonna be some NPCs there that you haven't met yet. So. Let's see if any of us remember the NPCs we mm. met before. <laughs> um, yeah. Um. Do you guys have any questions about last session or in general? For me? I, I was just going to ask for confirmation on the, the the Knoll Hill and if those four were added last minute, but you already confirmed that. Um, and, oh, the the whole Sai leaving the picture for Daigon. How much of that, like, did he down to, like, every single detail give you, like, exact instructions? Or did he just say, I want to leave this. Can you find a way for them to come across it? That like, how much thing, detail did he give that you? That entire thing, like, every detail that was, that was Vincent's. He DM'd me, he was Cute. like, this is Why the, the entire dog? thing. I guess, because it was Onu, because Onu was a painted dog. was a painted dog. But I'm a cat. Yeah, but... <laughs> DM Vincent. I don't know. He was like, I'm gonna make a fucking painting of like, it's, it's crashing with a painted dog. Like, why not okay, just dude? put a picture of a cat for me to pick it up? And then I don't Cause like. Because he likes so only. Rest. I don't know. You can take it up to Vincent. All right. Cats don't God. like dogs. God. Just add this Vincent to the God. This, this fucking, this fucking woman. Part of the Discord. God. I was just wondering. He's French. I was wondering if that was his choice or your choice. I was like. No, it was, it was, okay. that was all him. He DM'd me and I was like, this is what I want to leave the party. I'm like, okay, cool. Cute. Oh. There it is. Um, yeah. Well, any questions? Mm, no, I don't think so. Very good. Guess we'll just move on then. Uh, obviously, uh, 
if you haven't yet joined the Discord, join the join the Dungeons Link Discord, because that is where the main place where you can submit questions for Dungeon Discourse, or keep in touch with the community and maybe set up some games among yourselves, or whenever we need guest characters or running one shots, that would be the place where we typically reach out to people. Yada yada yada. Join the Discord, please. Thank you. Um, some questions got submitted. Um, my phone has three percent battery, so at some point I'm gonna have to need one of you to take over for me. Yeah, yeah, I can uh, find the questions. But um, the first question submitted by our uh, resident Celote Beanie. For Laura, how is Diagon feeling after her sort of breakup with Kess? Does she feel like she's found more of a place within the group as an individual rather than a tag along? Um, less so much like found more of a place in the group, but it's more just she's gained a bit of confidence that maybe I have a place that isn't directly linked and it's mostly actually from like the sigh leaving the picture because mm -hmm. that's also now an outer party connection of someone who has now found a way to communicate that it's like you that i made some sort of impression or and a positive impression of some kind kind of thing you know mm -hmm. so it's it's less so it's like i feel like a specific place in the party because it's still very hard for her to get past the self-doubt and the imposter syndrome of like oh well it, it, it's 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 more that you're you're useful among other things, blah blah blah, and more of a I don't know, just more of, like it's it's closer to being there, but not fully. Definitely like further along that journey per se. But it's definitely like a step in the right direction, I guess. Yeah, but also because all she's also worried that maybe maybe then it's like fucked it a little bit because now that it's been made clear that how the fighting thing was like a bet slash prank, and clearly some people. Like, while we were joking that there wasn't a bigger reaction, there was still a negative reaction, and some people were less than impressed with that. Um, so it's also like, okay, maybe it's like, yeah, I was starting to find my footing, and then I just as quickly maybe fucked it up again. So, and now now they're all gonna be mad at me and Kess, so it's gonna be me and Kess against the world again. Like, who knows? I mean, you made Elsino happy. True. That's true. <laughs> I, I really look forward she, to her. She, I mean, you haven't spoken to her yet, but she really enjoyed that. No. Don't worry. <laughs> Okay. It was all um, worth it. <laughs> is Daigon attending the fight night, whether it be a spectator or, or a fighter? I feel um, like she's going to attend. A hint mostly of her to... letting go her fear of the wall? I think it's more going to be... She definitely plans on going and being like, look out. To be outside so that if like enforcement are coming, she can get either get the fuck out or let you all know and then get the fuck out. I don't think she intends to fight, but I don't want to say it's a guaranteed for sure. Like, there's, there's no way, because, like, who knows what's going to happen, and who knows what will be said or done to convince her. Um, but it's definitely still, like, she wants to, because it looks like a fun, it sounds like a fun time, and a chance to just, you know, vent some frustrations, and something that, in theory, I'm she's good at, not when well, my dice are involved all the time, but... That'd be funny. She Part of it, she does kind of want a 1v1 Brooks, uh, eventually, just, just for... Because she can see, again, there's similarities in their tra in their combat, but at the same time, it's very different. And so it'd be fun to see, like, who in at least that one is it. But it's like, we don't need a fight club to do that. We are traveling together all the time. Any night while we're camping, she could just be like, hey, Brooks, want to, wanna like, 1v1, place a bet, let's go. So I don't need yeah. the fight club to do that. That's fair, that's fair. Okay. Um, for Belle, how is Kes feeling regarding her recent revelations, especially from Blue? And now this other revelation that nobody knows about, so might as well you know, throw that in the mix. Yes. Um, <laughs> other things. Does it change their relationship from her perspective? Uh, I mean, she's she feels very unsteady in the grand scheme of things. Like she she very much knew her place before. And now the ground is kind of shaking and she's like, oh, no, I don't know anything about anything anymore. Um, but she's, she kind of is like fighting against the inevitable change that it's going to make to the relationship just because she doesn't want it to make a difference. <laughs> so she's like kind of clinging on to the hope that it's not going to change anything. Um, and still recognizing that it kind of does. But she, yeah, she feels very unnerved <laughs> and it's like, ah, shit. <laughs> This turned out way worse than I expected it to. It was already pretty bad. 
Uh, to quickly answer your question, Abby, um, obviously, no, I would recommend rewatching the VODs or listening to, to the Spotify, to the audio-only forms, but we have a World Anvil, it is linked in the panels. It is not up to date, but once I'm done with the fucking college pressure and the deadlines, um, um, I am making it my mission to catch up on that, so there is a website a called World Anvil that you can go to through one of the panels down below that um, has a lot of information on there already and a couple of session recaps, but uh, it's not up to date yet, but will be soon, TM, once I'm done with all the fucking college bullshit I'm dealing with. So you can read up on it in your own time if you don't want to, you know, if you don't want to commit to watching four-hour VODs or listening to four-hour podcasts, which I totally get. <laughs> I've also been thinking, and this I fucking might as well throw it in a group here now that we're here. I've also been thinking of maybe uploading to the YouTube uh, some like, like short like five minute like recaps of, a, of an episode where you know we yeah. both we rotate players and DM rotate every week someone else tells like a recap of the last session and just quickly breaks down like in, yeah. in short mm -hmm. lines what happened honestly um, I would love to both in the in the vein of like the written like the crit roll recaps and watching even what like Dallas does for the Dice League yeah, campaign exactly. with her recaps like I would love to do something like that I just good. haven't offered till now because I just don't have the time to be the one consistently doing it yeah, I think that'd be good but... uh, a good addition to just have another thing that goes up to the YouTube regularly and requires very little editing work because they're very short just compact like blah 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 this is what happened you know i'm at this aiming to, in them to be like i don't know like 10-ish minutes so just like yeah here's what happened kind of thing um I'll, I'll throw it in, the group, uh, it I'll, I'll throw it in like the group proper later but it's been something that's been on my mind like oh maybe we could do do that that'd be fun for those that don't have the time nor the attention span for catching up these big ass vods uh, and stuff so like it's definitely an option that i've been considering so more on that soon you heard it here first <laughs> um right is there's Kes... another Kes question yeah yeah is Kes waiting for brooks to press given that he's the only one who knows a little bit at the same time she's kind of ignoring the fact that he now knows more about her than she wanted to him to know Mm -hmm. He was very lucky in the mindset that he caught her in and what she was talking about to get that answer from her because otherwise she would have like completely shut it down and be like, nah, I'm not telling you anything. So it was very much a fluke that she was just overwhelmed with this news and was like, ah, I gotta tell someone. I'll tell Brooks, he's right here. Yeah. So now she's a little... She, she's trying to find a way that she can tip it in her favor for when she he does press it on like press on and ask for more details. Okay. Um another one for Kess. Um or for Bell, sorry. Kess seems to yeah. at this point make an effort specifically to wind up Brooks. Is this a conscious choice for her or is she just playing into her chaotic side? A little bit of both. Like, yeah. On the one Near hand, it. it's chaotic <laughs> and she just loves messing with him and everyone. But and he has like the most interesting and chaotic reactions. Um but she's she's noticed that he has like he he has this habit of not treating her like he does everyone else. Like he'll flirt with everyone else, but seems extremely uncomfortable when he. That's tries a to lie. Go to he has a flirt with he has a flirt with Daigon. Other than the one time way back when he asked Daigon to dance that one of the but that was more just because I clearly was putting on the pouty like I want to be included face, not because there's any like flirtatious intention there yeah like but but brooks is definitely like a very suave or portrays to be a very suave likes to talk to all the ladies and men he's 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 yeah. hit on fucking what's his, what's his fucking name <laughs> rob little rod in the, yeah. the friendly giant so like yeah so like I, yeah no it makes sense but anytime he tries it on Kaz, he seems to get kind of flustered because she'll fight back almost <laughs> Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, for both of you, do you have any upcoming plans or goals for our few days of downtime that you're willing to share? Oh, I don't know. I can't honestly say that no anything comes to mind. Kind of going with the flow? Yeah. Uh, maybe just like write a few more 
of the longer like journal entries I have, like like backstory related journal entries in mm. Dagon's Journal. Oh, and then shopping, I want to pick up then on Brooks's idea, get one journal just for writing like like talking journal, like the conversational one to the party. So it'll just be filled with out of context, just me responding to things that if anyone goes back and reads it, they're gonna be like, what the fuck? Random yeah. sentences. And then there's the actual like this is more of like the like Your diary. diary journal and like the longer entries about like backstory and feelings and like events and stuff like that so that way because also the, the right now i've been just ripping the pages i use for conversations just ripping them out so it stays up but then it's like makes me sad going back and looking at the occasional ripped out pages and it's not nice and pretty anymore but <laughs> gosh oh. dang it it is what it okay. is well <laughs> um i mean besides dealing with stuff that came up last session um i don't know what you're talking about no idea it's so mysterious. <laughs> literally actually um <laughs> She wants to rope Brooks into helping her make something for Blue. Sorry? She wants to rope Brooks into helping her make something for for Blue. Oh. Is this a, hey, sorry I never asked your name, even though we were friends for years <laughs> present. Here you go. Something like that. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Uh... Also, at any point, if anyone in the party wants to make an effort to learn any of our in-game thieves can't sign language Dagon will always happily try and teach you but i'm and i'm gonna like laura's gonna start keeping a log of what words or phrases i've taught to people so i also know in character who i could say what to or mm -hmm. who i could sign Smart. what to a lot of commitment but cool, cool. <laughs> i'm gonna try uh, for me see how that goes. i got a question that question for dm wow. oh my gosh um <laughs> how dirty is the fighting going to be at body mcfight nights <laughs> Scrapyard? It's RP to find out, dipshit. RP to find out. Uh, on a more serious note, how are you feeling about the campaign so far and the characters now that the party is beginning to make those individual ties to each other? Do you have anything you're really excited for that you're willing to share in the upcoming sessions? Boom. Uh, how am I feeling about the campaign so far? I love to see everybody, that includes players, that includes viewers, be so invested from day one. Last campaign, I was still a rookie. Bell had never fucking played D&D &D before. Everyone was still very fresh to like to, to streaming D&D &D because that adds a whole new, a whole, a whole different dimension. It and does. And it got real juicy and spicy about halfway through. And that's kind of where I feel like that's when we hit our like peak in that campaign was like about halfway through. Yeah. Uh, and look uh, how many notes we've taken. So look many how many notes, notes we've taken. It's that's like nice. over half the book. <laughs> That's not to say that the first half of the first campaign wasn't good. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm just saying that as experience kind of uh, made us the the avid role players and, and DM that we now are, um, naturally, the sessions became a lot better and there was a lot more depth and there was a lot more role play. So seeing that happen from immediately day one in, in, in the new campaign has me fucking has me fucking thrilled because i love i put a lot of heart and soul and passion into what i do here i write this world i make all these characters and these storylines and and i do that not just for me i do that because i want to share this creation and tell the story through this 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 format so to see that people are so invested in the writing that i do uh, both players and and uh, uh, viewers it's fucking, it's fucking humbling, and I, it's, it's it's exciting, and fucking awesome, and I, I don't know, I'm very appreciative of that shit. Um, so I love campaign two so far, and there's so much, so much shit that's coming. Oh, so much drama, so much. Well, like, yeah, because if it's anything, deep like storylines. So many fucking plot yeah. hooks that are already spread throughout the party that only some people know of that at some point could just pfft. oh by the way surprise yeah like even just like in our session zero like there's two I can think of two major things that would be entire arcs oh, yeah. should the party either find oh, yeah. out or should we decide to tell them or should it come up in some other way like so. And that's just our two. And I'm sure everyone has things like that because of the way yeah. you set it up and the way you ran yeah. session zeros. So and whatever you know, main your, story your we're individual on. individual backstories as well that I'm yeah, pointing there's from. Yeah, so much. I can think of like a you know, couple from my backstory. Elazarin's backstory has already come up a little bit with especially like The spider tattoo. I, I say that. One of the things from his backstory has come up a bit with the fucking, the, the tattoos, yeah. the, like the shoulder or whatever. 
uh, Daigen has mentioned, oh, yeah, there's this place where there's a mountain and there's a lake and there's fucking everything. Where is it uh, that nobody really knows why the, what the, what the fuck that's about? Obviously, we have, uh, Belle, or Kess, has discovered some interesting things about her heritage and more than you, any of you know about. Uh, and there's definitely some plot there that once Kess decides to grow the bear to actually ask the hard questions, will and evolve well. into these storylines and obviously uh brooks has a backstory that still has implementation to do uh, davian is currently on a fucking journey of self-discovery through backstory uh hooks uh, if we ever have to go on a boat things get fucking with jacks Jack, so dude like, yeah like there's so the much thing. shit i'm fucking this campaign can easily go on longer than campaign one, and I'm not even oh, shitting for sure. you. Like, this is awesome, and I love the characters, I love all of you, even though, you know, you guys are a fucking chaotic bunch, both in and out of character this campaign, but I could not think of a, a better group to play D&D with every week, so I'm loving it, and seeing the response and the growth on the stream as well, and it's, it's fucking humbling. And it, I'm just very happy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as far as things that I'm excited for in the near future, when Davian gets at third tier, man. Dude, it's gonna be fucking good. That's it's gonna be, be some, it's gonna be some shit, dude. It's gonna be some shit, dude. Once that third fucking tier has been d d collected. Woo! Daddy, it's gonna be, it's gonna be some shit. It's gonna be good. Uh, is that everything? That's everything from Ethan's post. There's a few so, more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So th th this next storyline of kind of like what also excites me is the fact that you're now going into somewhere where they have something that you want, but it turns out, oh, these people are good. They're not evil assholes. Oh, very excited to see how you guys tackle that. I know. I'm so I'm so nervous you're gonna about have to it because I don't want to fight them. No, I like, don't you know, want you're going to have to get very fucking political and be like, OK, listen. Let's fucking, you know, let's fucking figure this out. And I think Loki, my expectation is that Elazarin is going to have like a really big like, because he's used Time to that to sort shine. of, he's, he's used to that sort of like, you know, interaction with people. Um, or you run a stupidly elaborate heist, which would also be fucking funny. Pull <laughs> Ocean's, <laughs> Ocean's 11. Ocean's 11, D&D &D style. Yeah. Uh, and a have a question from Duke for both of you. Uh, what the hell, man? <laughs> Do you tell? Why you did what you did with the whole like fake beef between you guys? Fuck it, might as well, right? Yeah, well, because yeah. I initiated it. Um, yeah. After, because again, like the group, we the, the group we made everyone deafen because I was like, I'll tell Cass a secret because, like, secret I, I, she, secret. yeah, that's that she said that's a big thing in her like culture and stuff, and I so I told a secret, uh, which uh, it was not to let's make a fake fight that was separate, and then. Yeah afterwards it was more like okay we're still in this weird place like like there's apologies been kind of issued it was a shit apology but i appreciated it and but we're still like and it's like things aren't you know perfect yet but i also didn't want to just sit there in the awkward like daigon didn't want to just leave it it's like you know what fuck it let's just try and kind of half distraction but half also bring these back to normal because they have a history of playing pranks on people they've traveled with in their previous like travels together before they met this party so it was a way to kind of like regained that normalcy between them at least for a while so it was like hey you want to fuck with these people um and that's kind of where that came from it was more of like a way to kind of start to rebuild some of the the bridge that had started to damp been damaged from their fight yep. at the expense of our party members apparently Plus, <laughs> obviously you both are now i don't know worship is a big word but you definitely both kind of like in the employ hmm. of a of a of a, a lesser deity or a demigod that loves the chaos <laughs> and loves fucking pulling jokes on people so that that plays right into that as well uh elsinil happy i love elsinil dude one of my favorite npcs i'm so happy <laughs> that i get to continue her story as well you know because i can't wait I to kind Elsinil. of like this, i expect like at some point there's going to be like this this thing where i get to like basically it, it, Exp uh, do an expose of 
what happened for Elsinil between yeah, Camp and Mon and, Ka- and now. I'm gonna, I mean, fucking cool. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be dope. Yeah. I'm just happy that it's you gotten enough Elsinil? things have happened. She would fucking ruin Brooks. Yeah. <laughs> she would absolutely fucking destroy Brooks. Absolutely. But hey. I'm just happy it got to a point there. Because at the beginning, especially our session zero, I was very like, I don't know. I don't like this. I don't like this entity. But I'm glad that Dagon's gotten over that. Just because she's such a fun character. So yeah. whether it's a mistake <laughs> or not, I'm just glad that there's <laughs> I mean, some trust there. Kess adores her. She thinks she's like. But you would because you're like peas in the same pod. Like yeah. you're cut from the same cloth for sure. Yeah, because it's like, ah, this is someone who's like me. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, that's just very chaotic, but also at the same time very serious when needs when the, when she needs to be and yeah. has also realize has her has her own motives and her own goal and definitely um, knows how to convince people yeah. that her goal is also their goal. Yeah. The other thing about like the fake prank fight is while ninety percent of it was again that try and return to normalcy and rebuild the bridge and like just get past of being angry part of it though pretending to be anger you still it's like the lingering anger we still got to kind of get out with like the digs at each other and like the tea so it's like anything there were still a few days for basically Dagon to like get out any of the i'm mad at you like petty shit but in a way that it's like i'm not actually gonna long term upset my friend because this is like the plan it was kind of genius in my a lot of bridges in this jungle <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy right um sassy submitted a question which i thought was really cool um which book world would your character feel at home i don't fucking know i thought it was a really cool question like book world oh. meaning just the universe not like book plot like you get then no, get inserted like into the, the drama the of said world that's what i assume like uh, just the, the, what, the universe what world has cat people i don't know <laughs> I mean, it doesn't That's matter. such a this, hard this, question. This, 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 like, I mean, doesn't have, you don't have to really like keep take that into account. Oh, but she's a cat, so it wouldn't fit there. What what world no, would, know, do as Daigon feel like she could live there and be like, yeah, this is cool. This is, I want I want to be here. It's kind of sad, but any like post apocalyptic where there's very little humans left just because of never fitting in in a large group and never being treated well or any any world <laughs> where it's like there's like five of you left. Uh, maybe that. But okay. you know, I, I, nothing specific for someone who reads a lot. Nothing specific is coming to mind at all. Most of anything I've been reading lately, I'm like, nope, nope, doesn't fit there. Nope, absolutely doesn't fit there. It's just okay. a lot. <laughs> Narnia. Narnia universe, up uh, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Narnia is a pretty. That's a weird one because there's a lot of like weird, funky, like um a lot of animal based right uh, low-key a lot of animal based races as well in, like, well and also yeah. even the geography of narnia could also be pretty oh. interesting considering the the geographical things that she's looking for because of the history of her yeah. tribes so maybe yeah that's a good shout sassy Shame better than anything Shame, i came dude, up with narnia <laughs> such an underrated like universe it's just the movies kind of sucked you know? like, yeah Ooh. man uh what about Cass? <laughs> Cass is from american gods changed my mind <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, we would have fit in there pretty well. Um, I can see Cass fitting in very well in the Discworld universe. I'm not I gonna lie. I thought she'd probably she fit well in like the Witch universe, just because there's tons of shit she can fight there, and also so much chaos she can cause. Yeah, yeah. Or just, yo, know, send her to Akatar just to be friends with Amrin, yeah. just to confuse the shit out of Amrin, but she'd also love it. And then the two of them together, the whole world would just be like, we have no idea what's going on ever and we're afraid. And it would be the best. Kes and American Gods, though, that's fucking hilarious. That is fucking funny. <laughs> that is fucking that's great. so funny. <laughs> um, got a question from Femme uh, for both of you. Um... For your characters, just to specify. Um, do your characters have like a plan to like down the line, kind of like, like settle down, uh, have a home, start a family, that sort of thing? Do you think that's in Absolutely the books for your, for your characters? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from just being very everything's day by day, because every day Daiging wakes up, she's shocked that there's still like, it's like, oh, it's like I didn't dream that. I have people that talk to me. Okay. Okay, this is happening. So, it's, so and it's, it's also just she does not see she she is 
cannot see any scenario of anyone feeling romantic love for her. As, as sad as that sounds. As, as very emo as that is. Like, she... It, just because she, it's been when something like so ingrained to you, right? It's like even even if you know something's untrue, but if something's said to you or repeatedly like reinforced in your head for the your almost the entirety of your life, right? It's it's very hard. Even when you try and tell yourself it's not true, your 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 inner voice gets harder and harder to fight that back every time. And her That's entire life was spent being like, real. yeah. And your, her entire life was spent with all the outside stimuli being, you are either a threat, a curse, we hate you you're something weird, you're other, like, things that in no way feel inclusion. So it's very hard for her to see anyone being able to feel romantic love for her. Um, and then she's kind of internalized that and then put up some walls there. And so in her head, like, this is one of the things where it's like, char player knows something about the character. The character doesn't because of their lack of self-awareness. She thinks she is asexual but that's not actually, it's because she's just so afraid of and doesn't think she would ever be loved enough for anyone to consider being intimate with her in that way. So she's like, well, I'm going to cut it off with the past. I'm asexual. I don't want intimacy. And I'm aromantic. There we go. Problem solved. But she's not. No. <laughs> she just thinks that. <laughs> I can't wait for Daigon to kind of like realize that she is very cool and people do genuinely like yeah. her. That entire like journey of her kind of slowly... Like accepting, like oh, maybe these people do. Well, like and I'm me. I'm excited yeah. to be able to tell that through D and D mechanics and visual yeah, storytelling because yeah, yeah. her astral projections are going to change based on that journey, and I'm super excited for cool. that. Uh, what about you, Bell? Um, see, it's kind of weird to get into because there are like unknown elements mm. play into it. At the moment, she doesn't see herself settling down like at all mostly because it's boring <laughs> yeah it's boring and she doesn't want to do that and it would be exhausting for her to like do the same thing every day and have no change in that routine it's um shacks for you to fill with chickens yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> but also because of uh stuff blue and redacted have said um, <laughs> that she's like i don't know that i'm capable of that yeah. Um, Man, shit. I forgot about that. Yeah. So she's kind of in this weird place where she kind of wants it, but she also, but only because she thinks she can't have it. Classic. Classic. But I also kind of feel like, what you and that's just me, kind of like uh, outside perspective, right? This is also kind of like, I feel like Cass would be the type of person just from the way she is and her the way her brain works be like oh, i'm gonna prove you wrong i can do that i can have that you know what i mean yeah that's 100 what it's she's like a big like right fuck now. you she's don't like you do not get to decide my destiny whatever kind of shit you know what i mean like, yeah at the moment she's like um i don't vibe with what you're describing so i'm just gonna <laughs> ignore it and my do what i is want my own. thank you very much yeah and it's like um I don't know if I should talk about that actually because that's a Brooks thing. Never mind. But yeah, so she at the moment she doesn't think she's gonna settle down at all, and also because she doesn't really want to go back to where her people are right now. And in her head, that is the only way she would be able to do that. Okay. Um. Okay. I think that's all. That was all the questions. We made it. Phone is still up, so we're good. Woo! Um. Next up, uh, we're gonna play a game. Game We're time. Play, and you guys are going to collaborate. It's going to be exciting. teams. You can get to discuss and team game and all that stuff. We're going to be playing Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? The D&D Edition. Multiple choice oh, questions. Baby. You guys get to collaborate. You have lifelines, all that shit. To see how, just to see how far you get. Um, I, the questions gradually kind of go from easier to harder. But then again, it's also just like... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe I misjudged some questions. Who knows? Uh, you guys can see this, right? Yep. Yep. Beautiful. Uh, it's a bit hard to see on stream, maybe. Let me know if that's big enough or anything. Uh, I could probably crop it a little bit, but I I, I pulled this together on, on the fly, like, fucking last minute. So hopefully this is all right. Um, you guys have lifelines. Pretty small on stream. Okay, hold on. I mean, I don't think you're ever going to get it without yeah. a different overlay big enough so they can see the writing. You'll just have to go with listening to us read the questions out loud and then you can see roughly on that tracker on the right and the highlighted bar how far we get. Can I? Should I? Would I? Wait, hold on. 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, otherwise we would need an overlay that's, like, either move all our cameras up more to the top, or, like, are the cameras all off to one side, and this taking up a bigger screen. How does this, how does, Wait. will this, does this work for now, guys? Let me know. I Definitely mean, better. Yeah, you don't need yeah. the logo for sure. Does this work? That works? Yeah. Beautiful. Dude says it works. Uh, we got three lifelines. 50-50. Uh, Two wrong answers got crossed out. So it becomes a 50-50 question. Ask the audience. I think this is just game randomly generates. Yeah, but like the game randomly generates. Or, 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 oh. Whatever. I think this one just kind of gives you the answer and skips it. I think this is just like a free... Oh, that's lame. Yeah. Hmm. But um, We should maybe, instead of using that one, we'll just acknowledge that we'll use it like phone a friend being like chat is the friend. Yeah, and we just yeah we could do that. Do we, it could, we, ourselves. Could, we could do that. Yeah, yeah. So Twitch so chat, don't, don't give away we'll answers use unless we use it. in the game. For, uh, ask the audience. We'll actually ask the audience because we're doing it live. This one, I guess I'll just give you like a free like... Or get out of jail free card unless you have a better normally, normally that's the phone a friend just ask the audience and then phone a friend right James will be home soon I could just go get ask James, James. <laughs> and James is our that's friend that's just the lifeline is ask James <laughs> I love it sure yeah fuck it fuck it if he's down for that sure so gamers your first question it's a pretty easy one the inside skill falls under which ability score is that I misspelled ability, but doesn't, that doesn't matter. Yeah. Is that charisma, wisdom, intelligence, or dexterity? I'm pretty sure it's wisdom, Bell. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure it's wisdom. Is that your final answer? Yes. Yep. Oh, the oh, website asked me as well. <laughs> that makes <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Correct. Yeah. Look at that. Look at Woo. that. First question survived. We're so good at this. We made 100 bucks. Good job, guys. Fuck yeah. All right, next question. I'm going to buy so much. 100 gifted in the chat. What the Went? fuck Hello. is this? <laughs> An ad? <laughs> it shouldn't be. Oh god. <laughs> oh, no. There we go. That there just went to a fucking ad. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, it is very loud. Let me just quickly fucking <clears throat> mute the fucking uh, mute. Uh, blah, blah, blah. When rolling to hit an enemy with a weapon attack, your roll has to match or go over the opponent's armor class. Go over the opponent's <laughs> armor class. Beat an opponent's dexterity saving throw, or be above a twelve to hit. A. A. Yeah. Match or go I'll over. Because ties work yep. in your favor. Correct, of course. Is this going to go to the ad again? It better not. No, it's not. No. Okay, no. Cool. no. All right. The two people credited for creating D&D are Dave Arnson and Andreas Sapkowski, Joan Eichen, yeah. Gary Gygax, or Chris Perkins. Bell, we know this because of the podcast episode we did with Denny, and I fully brought up like his Reddit posts and quotes yeah. from the guy, but it's C, yeah. very guy. Because yeah, he's a misogynist, answer? guys. Yeah. Fun fact. A is I the mean, author of the witch. I feel like everybody born in like <laughs> that time is a mis Every man born before the 60s has is systemic a misogyny it's, it's like embedded in them. That's just the way it is. Yeah. Um, is that your final answer? Yes. yes. Correct. God, All right. we're so good at this. <laughs> Question number four. You've already made 300 bucks. So proud of you. Woo! Um, what is the time period during which D&D players got seen as worshippers of something evil? Is that the Satanic <sighs> Panic, the Great Depression, the Roaring Twenties, or Y2K? A. Oh yeah, Satanic Panic. They were like, they're Satanists in their basement. Final answer? <laughs> yeah. yeah. What time period was that, though? I didn't realize that was a named uh, time a, period. The, the Satanic Panic. Like, it's the 80s. 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 <laughs> 70 days or 80s. I yeah. love that so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Satanic That's Panic. Amazing. All right. <laughs> when did the first edition of D&D come out? Oh, Is that between oh, 1916 fuck. and 1965? Between 1965 and 1970? Between 1970 and 1975? Or between 1975 and 1980? I feel like we need to use a lifeline here. I, yeah. I, I know it's not... D, because I'm pretty sure it was around in the 70s. Well, I mean, that could it still was, be D, yeah. but like D. earlier 70s. I th Early oh, 70s. fuck. Okay. Ugh, which life? I think, should we just use the 50 50? Because I don't think anyone in chat, per se, is also going to know the answer. And I don't think James would know the answer. Duke, I threw yeah. this together for like 20 minutes before stream, bro. Give me a break. <laughs> It'll be better next time, I swear. <laughs> um, yeah, I have a feeling it's B, but 50 50. Okay, 50 50. And then if B's there, we'll pick 50 50? Yeah. yeah. Watch it be go away, because I'm wrong. Oh, no! <laughs> okay. Um. Here we go. So the only answers left are A or C. Early 60s or early 70s. It's basically the... I 
I, I'm leaning C then, but watch it be A, watch us be out. I want to get to the other questions. Oh, uh, I guess let's, let's, of course, of course, Ethan now is like, I know this when we didn't use that lifeline. Um, <laughs> what do you think? Do we just go with C? Yeah, I think we go with C. Okay. Oh God, there's going to be blind. Is that so... your final answer? Yes. Correct. Oh, oh my god. god! 74 is when the first edition oh. of D and D got officially released. Okay. Yes. Good. There you go. Uh, which of these colors is not a dragonborn color in fifth edition? Black, green, yellow, or white? Isn't it no green? Isn't it yellow? Because there's is like a yellow? gold. Because there's a gold. It's true. Then, gold. I don't think I don't think there's a yellow. Because I know because green is the one that has like poison. White. Oh, yeah, white yeah. has ice breath. Black. I don't, I don't know what a dragon, a black dragon. It's either black or yellow, but I don't know. Black and yellow. I'd say yellow. I, I think yellow. Yeah, I think it's yellow. Is that your final answer? Yes. Correct. Oh, Good job. Fuck. Yellow dragonborn. Canonically, um, before 5e, they were a thing, but just super, like, yellow dragons were super rare and mysterious. And But in 5e, there's, like, there's no trace of yellow dragons or dragonborn existing at all. Yeah. All right. This question, I feel like, is an easier one, throwing you a bone. What ninth level spell has appeared in every edition of D&D and allows users to basically do anything? Wish. Wish. <laughs> Defy, wish, ascension, or cause situation. Wish. Wish. What a vague Final name answer. for a spell. Cause situation. Mm -hmm. like, do cause it. anything, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Final answer? Yes. Yes. Of course. Of course. It's in my spell list. Eventually. Yeah. Eventually. <laughs> yeah, eventually. But is it, yeah, no, it's right now. Level four. Not that level level four. <laughs> she out here casting wish. I'm okay. gonna cast wish next this session. This question dude. could be a doozy. How many core versions? This includes revisions of D and D. Have there been so far? Is that well, five, is that, it's, six, seven, or eight? It's at least six because we're on fifth edition. Okay. There was a three point five. Yeah. So it's at least six, but. Dutch says, including revisions, and yeah. I feel like there's been a revise at least once. So 3.5, for instance, twice. was a revision of 3rd edition. Oh, okay, okay. Um. Oh, well, we can eliminate A. Well, yeah. um, Fuck off, A. <laughs> Back off. <sighs> and we, so we know it's at least six, but is it seven? Are there any more? I... Well, only other thing I'm thinking, because... I don't. I don't know. Like, I don't. I don't think so. Do we, I think it's just six. I yeah. I'm. I guess we'll say six. So I can't think of any other like because Pathfinder doesn't count as D and D. That's not oh, no. different. Like a That's something different. Yeah. And then I can't think of any other numbered addition. I've no, heard of. No, because everyone only ever talks of like. 3.5 3, 3. or 5 are the two that most yeah. people play currently. Yeah. And obviously we've had numbers 1 through 5 before then. There were no more point fives. I don't think. We, this better not be like Kingdom Hearts. We better not be on like Kingdom Hearts 3 with like 8 games. I'm <laughs> but I can see them revising like 1st or 2nd edition. Yeah, there might have been a revised 1st or 2nd before they moved on. Uh, like I'm tempted to say 7 because I feel like there's probably one we don't know of. Probably. But... It's a reminder that if you think this is hard, there are still two lifelines available. Oh, Fuck I know. Off. <laughs> um, maybe seven. I wanna, I wanna ask the audience. I hate this maybe. Question. I wanna yeah, ask the audience because Duke and Ethan here will see if they say if they say the same thing, then that would make me feel pretty confident. If they say mixed things, then it doesn't really help us. But <sighs> yeah, probably do that one. Can All right, ask we'll audience? ask the audience. All right, <laughs> maybe Every, the everyone in the audience, what do you think? How Someone many core versions of D&D have there been so far? This includes revisions. So, for instance, like like we said before, uh, because they already said um, 3.5 was technically a revision of 3rd edition. No one knows! <laughs> no. We got... Okay, we had a C or D. So maybe then I think we go with C because we were kind of thinking mm -hmm. that because we know there's at least 6 and there's probably one we don't know about. Mm. Is 4.5 the thing? I don't maybe think. maybe that's the one we don't know about. I'll but like, I don't know. I'll give you guys some more time to discuss with chat. Um, more than six for sure. Okay, I believe that. I yeah, I'm I'm feeling better about seven. Yeah, maybe seven. Seven editions is the best. Total. Seven. Should we go seven? 
More yeah, than six. Let's go, yeah. let's go with seven. Seven. Is that your final answer? Yes. Yes. If this is wrong, I'm gonna scream. If it's a D, I'm big, big sad, because Master of the Game RPG tried to help. <laughs> I'll give you this. I haven't clicked yes yet, so if you want to swap to D, I'll let you. But it's up to you. Now, now, now a chat is saying D. Chat is saying D. Oh, you're not helping. <laughs> Alright, let's let's go with D. Let's go with D. Because chat has changed his mind. <laughs> and this is this okay. way it's chat's fault if we lose. It's their fault. We did lifeline. Wait, 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 wait. Ethan, we, Ethan, we lifelined. We're asking chat. So how uh, many core funny. editions of D&D &D have there been, including revisions? So we know there's five plus 3.5 was once. We know there's at least six, but we think there's more. So it's either seven or eight. See, he says it's six. You no, didn't help at all. It, you didn't help at all. That makes me want to go back to seven. Is D your final is... answer? Uh, let's yeah. D. Old Shadow Geek also says D. Let's do D. Let's go. D -D -D -D. Correct. Hey! hey! There is Fuck you, Ethan. original edition. There Ethan, is advanced D&D &D first edition. There is advanced D&D uh, yeah. second edition. Advanced D&D second edition revised. D&D &D third edition. D&D third edition revised, which is also referred to as 3.5. There is fourth edition and there is fifth edition. So the answer is uh, eight core D and D. Because basically, versions, one through three revisions. all had a revised. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I, I hated that question. Yes. That question was mean. Mm. <laughs> we have one lifeline left. Yeah, but you did it. You survived. You survived. All, all right. right. So that is that lifeline done. So the only lifeline that you still have is phone a friend, aka Ask James. Because um, he is home. I heard him downstairs. Yeah. Which of the following statements has nothing to do with the status effect paralyzed? Is that A, a paralyzed creature cannot move or speak? Is that B, attack rolls have advantage? Is that C, any attack that hits is a crit? Or is that D, the paralyzed creature is immune to poison and disease? Oh, it has to be D. D. Why would you be yeah. immune to poison and disease? No. Is that your final answer? Yes. yes. Correct. Question number 10. Isn't this typically the point where they're like, oh, if you get this question right, whatever you get wrong next time, you'll get reverted back to 10, right? That's how that works? Is that how that, that works? No, it's like there's here? safe points. Like, yeah, yeah, so basically, so that, if we get 10, 10 right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the... So if yeah. you get this so right, this is... you're guaranteed to go home with 32,000 fictional dollars. Fictional dollars. Yay! 32,000 uh, Don't look at chat. Don't look at chat. Um, <laughs> what is the only way to finish off a troll? Is it A, lure it into the sun? B, finish it with acid or fire? C, cast remove curse? Or D, douse it with water? B, I think. I was gonna say because the sun is not a thing for them. I don't no. think trolls are cursed. Like they're a natural no. race, and I don't usually they, I, like I. What the fuck does water have to do with anything? So. I think it's B. I think it's yeah. B. Finish with acid or yeah. fire. Yeah. Correct. Uh, you faced yeah. the troll before back in campaign one, very early on. We did. Yeah, I remember. All right. Question number eleven. The heaviest, most protective armor type in D and D is A. Full plate. B. Scale mail. C. Ironwood. Or D. Chainmail. Is it it's is it full plate? I think it's full. Yeah, that full would play. I, I can't remember the difference between yeah. full plate and scale mail. I've never. Yeah. I don't know what ironwood is. I don't know what the heck no that is. No idea what that is. So, uh, let's just go with full plate. I think. Is yeah. that your final answer? Yes. Yeah. 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 Correct. Yes. Yay! Very good. Look at this. Question number twelve. <laughs> A monster hits you with a magical attack. To avoid some of the effects, you might make a intelligence <gasps> check, counterspell, a saving throw, or a combat roll. Counterspell. 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 B, final answer. Final answer? Yes. That's wrong, unfortunately. Oh! You read the oh! question wrong. A monster has hit you with a magical attack. What do you do to avoid, oh, to avoid some of the effects? You. It was obviously you make a saving Big throw. Dumb idiot. So yeah, save, it's not that they target damage, you; instance. it's that they've hit you. Big oh. dumb you stranded oh. at question number twelve. Dumb. Almost made it to the end. Had one lifeline left, but you fucking blew it. No million dollars for you, but you still win thirty two k. So I mean, it's something, you know. You did well. I made it to question eleven. We'll see if well. yeah. you know, anyone gets higher. <laughs> uh, you, did, you did well. You did well. I hate it. You uh, you you got to, you got to a certain point. It counts. We win. Yeah. Good job. Proud of you. Proud of you. The troll question doesn't apply to 5e, does it not? Hold on. I'm going to fact check that, actually. I'm going to quickly uh -oh. fact check that because I thought it did. Uh, No, it does. 
Doesn't right there, the troll... the troll regains 10 hit points at the yeah. start of its turn. If the troll takes acid or fire damage, trait doesn't function at the start of the troll's turn. Troll dies only if it starts its turn with zero hit points and doesn't regenerate. Yeah, and the only way it won't regenerate is with acid yeah, or fire. The only way it won't regenerate is when you hit it with acid or fire. So even if it hits zero hit points, it doesn't die because on its turn it will just <laughs> back up. And that is right from I the 5th edition rule least. set. That's how I interpret that, uh, at least. Because they die only if they don't regenerate, which and they only don't regenerate if they are hit with uh, fire or acid. So that still applies. That's the interpretation for our table. Um, welcome to the stream, by the way, Master of the Game RPG. I saw you followed. We appreciate that. Thank you for the trying to get it. Sunlight thing is Lord of the, the right Rings. Answer. Yeah, don't they turn to stone in Lord of the Rings when they're like in sunlight? Is that isn't that how trolls work in Lord of the Rings? Uh, I think so. I think there's I like think a section, so. a scene in the Hobbit where there's like this like big troll statue that like comes to life or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's in the Hobbit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's yeah. three of them and they're deciding what to eat. And he yeah, he yeah, wins yeah. the fight by making them argue for so long about how to yeah, eat them that yeah, they yeah, stay the up sun, till the sun comes right? up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Excited to be here, love quizzes. Yeah, we try to. Uh, th this is Dungeon Discourse. We run a D and D campaign every Sunday. Uh, Dungeon Discourse is our like talk show where we t do but a, a bit of question answering and talk about behind the scenes stuff. And I try to implement like a quiz type mini game type thing in every episode. So we've done uh, D and D trivia. We've done uh, D and D Jeopardy. Jeopardy. Uh, and now we're doing Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. This shit. This shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> So yeah, we do. We try to implement like a little quiz type element to it because I personally am also a big fan of quizzes and trivia. Uh, so, <laughs> and I run this show. Damn it! So quizzes there shall be. For fuck's sake. <laughs> uh, Rogue, thank you so much for being here. Appreciate you. Um, but yeah, I think with that all said and done, we've come to the end of today's dungeon discourse. Which means, yeah. which will normally mean, because normally the show airs is, is on a Thursday, but it's Friday today, because I know how calendars work. Wow. Um, <laughs> um, because we couldn't Hard do yesterday due to a Twitch server side errors, we had to do it today. But that does mean that it's only two more sleeps until Woo! Dungeon Select. So exciting. So we'll be here again on Sunday uh, at 8 p.m. CET, uh, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, as we always do. We end the episode of Dungeon Discourse where I give you a bit of a teaser of what to expect next session. Um, obviously, you guys know you're going to be uh, seeing, witnessing a, 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 a underground fight club type situation. Uh, and all I can say is that there is more to that or um, tournament than meets the eye. Ooh, Had a good tease. Ooh good exciting. Tease. Sketchy yeah. mystery. Yeah. Uh, thanks so much for being here. Appreciate all the follows. Sora Explorer, Master of the Game RPG, and uh, Monster Squad. Thanks for the follows, guys. Y'all are great. Appreciate it. Um, ha happy weekend. Catch you. Yeah, catch y'all on Sunday for a Dungeon Select Session 20? 20. Yep. The big 2 0. Um, Rogue, thanks for the follow as well. Much appreciated. Uh, we'll be the here on Sunday. The campaign is nearly old enough to drink alcohol in the States. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! But, um, yeah, we'll be here on Sunday with the entire gang. I think Sok was also here. I believe so. I haven't heard from him. So I, I think so. I don't think he's not here next yeah. week. I think he's... Yeah, we I should be there. So the gang's going to I think be he has a few more weeks. Yeah. For another session of just RP shenanigans. That's all good, Rogue. Better late than never, right? <laughs> Uh, Welcome. Anyone... No, this channel follows live. Fuck knows. Let's have a look. See, is there any D and D homies live uh, right now? I don't know. We don't really stream on a Friday, so. No. Or is any level stack? Find someone live? in the find someone in the D and D thing. Yeah, but wait. Is uh, hold on. Is there, can anyone check? Is is profane streaming? Why not follow profane? No streaming? idea. He he was he was, but he's oh he ended already. Um, Jeez. any level stack? Hold on. Live? I can look at my. No less live. Frick, dude. Frickin' heck. D and D gamers time. Yeah, but the thing about raiding people that we don't know, I'm like, what if you, what if you raid people and they're just huge cunts? <laughs> and that's when we expose our community to. You know what I mean? Let's, let's, I, I know what you mean. Excellent point. You know? I mean, I can give you lots of wonderful people we could raid right now, but yeah, they're not sure. doing like things that are D&D &D adjacent. Sure. But I can vouch for at least their community. Sure, man. You know? Absolutely. 
Actually, oh, let's do this. So my friend, um, my friend Mikey's live. He's playing Final Fantasy X, and uh, he's 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 a good, he's a super nerd. He's into D and D. He plays D and D. He DMs. Um, oh, yeah. and cool dude who's been dealing with some stuff. Like his name, his username is is this. I'm typing it in the chat right now. Damn it, Mikey. Hold on. <laughs> They are live right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm down. If you can, if you vouch for him, uh, that's good enough for me. And he's a, still like a a smaller, like aspiring streamer. Small so I'm sure he'll, he'll really appreciate fantasy. the raid. He'll be down. Big nerd. Show him some love. Tell him Dungeon Select sent ya. We would appreciate yeah. that shit. And um, we'll be back here on Sunday. Join the Discord if you haven't already. And um, catch you guys next time. Have a good weekend, y'all. Peace out. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.